Okay, in this lesson, uh, lesson number five, we're going to learn about grid references. Okay, so grid references uh, takes area reference and develops it further so that we can be far more accurate with the exact location of the feature within one of our area references. So we're just going to draw on this for a moment and you'll see what I mean by that. So take this feature here. Okay. We know that the feature is in this box. Okay. The area reference. Okay. So that's the, that's the whole box, but we don't know. We haven't explained exactly where in the box we find this feature. So grid reference allows us to do that. And what grid reference does is it takes the box and it breaks it up into tenths. Okay, and I'm going to show you an example of that uh, on the next diagram. So here we go. I'm just going to go to this example here. And you'll see that we have our um, Eastings counting 46, 47, 48. So increasing to the east. And we have our Northings at 63, 64. Okay, Northings. So if we were giving the area reference for where all this grid is inside this box, we would give the area reference of 4663, which would tell the reader of the map that something, a feature is located within this box. Um, grid reference, what it does is it takes that box and it breaks it up into 10 equal bits. And again, you can see these lines are imaginary. All right, so we've got, uh, this is line number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, tenths, okay? 10 equal uh, parts, if you like. So that's for our Eastings and for our Northings, it's the same again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay? So understand that zero and 10 are essentially the same number. Um, and it's for that reason, we really only have to put the zero Okay, so if we were to if we were to talk about a feature exactly on, uh, let's say this line here, that for example, if you're on the track standing right there, okay, you would give um, an easting of four, six, and zero because you're right on the line. If the track, if you're standing on the track, for example, actually, there's not really a good example of that, but let's imagine that this track crossed this line, then we would put one. Okay, it would be four, six, one. Okay, so we'll go back to our other map to explain what we mean by that in terms of features. Okay, so we're giving a feature for exactly where it is within the box. So uh, we'll use that text box again here. Okay, and this time instead of writing AR, we're going to write GR, which stands for grid reference. This is how we calculate it. Here are our numbers, 34, 35, 36. We get to 37, okay, but we don't cross 38. So the first thing we do is write down 37. Then with this line along here, we've got to break that up into tens. So five would be halfway along the line, so around about there. And then six, seven, eight, nine, and then finally 10 is on this line here, which is also zero. So if we were counting, we go three, seven, maybe one, two, possibly three. So we write down three. Okay. Now we go to our Norlings, counting up 18, 19, 20, 21. So we've got two, one. We do not cross two, two. So we start by writing two, one. How many tenths further? Would you say it's halfway? It's pretty close. Would you say that it's six tenths of the way up to 22? You probably could. It's pretty close. You could write five, you could write six. I'm going to write five. And we have six figures. And so this is a six figure grid reference. Three, seven, three, two, one, five. And this is how we write down the grid reference. Now, sometimes you'll receive this information and you have to go find the location. Okay, and hopefully if you conduct the, the due diligence, okay, through the process, you'll actually come to the location of the feature being right there. Okay, so let's go forward and let's see if we can apply that. Let's say, for example, I was asked to give the grid reference 
for the spot height of 650 meters above sea level, this little dot here, okay? In this case, what we would need to do is write grid reference, GR. We would need to start by, so here's our um, eastings. We've got number four, six, this line here. We don't cross four, seven, as you can see, it's in this location, but we do need to estimate how many tenths further from four, six to four, seven, we see the feature. Now look, we've got this grid here, so that makes things a bit easier. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So between four and five. Now we could write either four or five. It's it's up to us. So we start with the area reference number, four, six, and I'm going to write four, okay? Because it is close enough to this line. Perhaps you could argue that it's five because it's closer to the five. If you were to argue that way, write five, okay? Now we need to do the northings. So you've got six, three. You can see that that little dot there is just below the six, four line. We don't cross it. So we write six, three, and we count the tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's nine. It isn't on the line though, so we can't write zero, all right, because that would indicate it's on this line. It's not on that line. So we need to write nine. And there is our grid reference. 465639. Okay, but we don't always have the grid inside the box. So what do we do then? Well, we have to estimate. Okay, so let's say, for example, um, you were asked what the grid reference was for, say, this building right here. You get that, uh, this building right in here. Okay, so if that was the case, um, I would argue that what you need to do is um, we know that this is four six this line here, but there, but is this four five? It's not labelled, but we do know that the previous number is four five. Okay, so we would need to work that calculation out. Ideally, we'd love to drag that across, but we can't. I would also argue that this distance across here is not the same as this distance, so that makes it a little bit more challenging as well. We're going to have to use our imagination. Now, I would suggest that um, this distance uh, is, given it's not equal to that one, we're probably looking at about uh, four, five, and let's call it maybe two here. And um, so if that was two, this one here would be number three. Now that's the closest one. I'd probably just write GR, okay, G, R, and then I would write four, five, and maybe three. Okay, it's a little bit easier going this way uh, to the north because it's it's just calculated easier. Okay, I'm just going to rub this line out, get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. It's a little bit inaccurate that line. Okay, but certainly for uh, for our northing, we've got six three and we have six four here, so halfway. Okay, that's five. So we've probably got four. We've probably got three here. That's probably the closest. So I would write six three um, six three and then three tenths further. And that's our grid reference done. That is how we calculate grid reference. Okay. Thank you.